Welcome back. It can be hard to find time to cook when the weeks get busy, so that's why we have a simple meal for you to throw together. And joining us live here today to help with the recipe is OSF dietitian Olivia De Leon. Good morning, Olivia. Thanks so much for joining us today. Yes, it's great to be back with y'all today. Absolutely. So where can we start? Maybe the the potato nochi. Yeah. What are the benefits? <laughs> Yes, yeah, so this dish includes a lot of fun ingredients, and some of them actually uh, are ones that we can find at our local farmers markets. But one thing I do want to point out a little later on is our gnocchi. I don't know if y'all have ever cooked with that before, so it's a fun new ingredient we can use. Okay, it's but, gnocchi. Yeah, <laughs> gnocchi. Yeah. My apologies. Yeah. So today we can go ahead and get started with cutting our squash. Okay. So we are going to cut them into little mo half moon shapes. Okay. So what you're going to do is take your zucchini, and we've got two types today, zucchini and the yellow squash. So you can cut off the ends of your squash. Okay. And then what you're going to do is cut it in half lengthwise. So you can take your knife at one end of your squash and then kind of cut it in half from there. And then you can lay them flat side down on your cutting board and cut them into about half inch thick slices. Okay, and both of these vegetables are in the summer squash family, so they are in season right now. They're a great non starchy vegetable that you can add to your dishes, your main dishes, or you can add as a side dish as well. So you can go ahead once you get those chopped. You can add them to your large bowl. We've already cut up some of the squash today already. So go ahead and add that to your bowl whenever you get that chopped. How are y'all doing over there? Oh. I think it's going pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, I, I like how that cut turned out, I think. Excellent. Oh. We're learning new skills here today. I'm tossing them in here. There yeah. we go. Demetrius throwing them in. Just yeah, perfect. there we go. All right, what do we have next? Excellent. Now we are going to add our apple chicken sausage. Now, Ooh. I really oh. like using the chicken sausage just because it has about 50% less saturated fat and about 40% fewer calories when we compare that to uh, pork or beef sausage. So if you're looking for a heart healthy benefit and cutting out saturated fats, that's an easy swap you can make. Perfect. Okay, we just put that in. Perfect. It's looking good. What and do we now, do now the gnocchi. So these are basically little potato dumplings. Um, they're in, you can find them in the pasta aisle. They're, they cook up normally, very similar to pasta, where you would throw them in some boiling water. You would cook them for eight to ten minutes, and you would know they were done once they rise to the top of the water. And today we are doing it a little differently. We are adding it in, like you can see with everything else, and we are going to be cooking it in the oven. Yeah. So it's kind of an interesting process. Good. Okay. So we've Perfect. got those three things, four things in Excellent. there now. It's looking good. Yes. Yeah, so now we're going to add some extra seasonings. We're going to add our chopped onion to that big bowl. Okay. Here we go. Let's get a little onion in there. there. Perfect. And then we're also going to add our garlic. I always love adding garlic just for an extra flavor and heart healthy yeah. benefit. Mm -hmm. Nice. And I know you can find these at the grocery store all year round, but fun fact, they are actually in season in the summer. So definitely look for these ingredients uh, again at the local farmer's market. Yeah, for sure. I'll yes. tell you what, Olivia, my fiance is going to be so proud of me putting onions in here. There this, you is go. A, this is a first. There you go. They add so much great flavor. Yes, and then now, now we're going to add our olive oil so you can drizzle that in there. Another heart healthy benefit with that as well. Nice. Mm -hmm. And then lastly, our black pepper. And you notice we're not adding any salt to this recipe because the, the chicken sausage is salty enough, so we don't need to add anything extra to that. Okay, good to know. No salt. Yeah, so perfect. Next, we're going to mix it all together. So the best way to mix right. this is to take your spatula, there you go, <laughs> and you can just kind of bring it down along the side of your bowl and then just kind of mix it together like that. And then you can rotate the bowl as you go around. That way it's just not as messy as just kind of like going in and stirring it. Right. Yep. Well, yeah. I'll tell you what, my form is just really great over here. Like, <laughs> there you <laughs> go. <laughs> Perfect. So we go. Okay, we're mixing it up. Now, yeah. obviously, we got to put it in the oven eventually. Right. So after you get that all mixed up, you can go ahead and put it on your prepared baking sheet. Okay. So what hey, we've already Demetrius, done is... This is you. Yes, we've just lightly sprayed this with some nonstick spray. Okay. So you can put that on there. Come on there. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. There we go. There we are. Yeah. 
Man, that's a spread mm -hmm. right there. Perfect. Wow. And then you can just take that rubber spatula and then you can kind of just spread it around evenly. Okay. And then, then we would yeah. pop it in the oven at about 400 degrees for 400, 20 minutes. Yeah. And then you would just kind of every five to 10 minutes take your spatula and just kind of stir it around just to make sure that um, it's all the gnocchi are getting nice and crispy. My gosh, this looks and smells great. We can't wait to throw it in the oven. Olivia, thank yeah. you so much for joining us this morning. You're welcome. And we will have this full recipe on our website, ciproud.com.